Hey guys, it's Julia. I'm here in Boulder with my fellow kinetics practitioner and awesome personal trainer friend, Jason McQueen. Hello. And uh, today we're gonna talk about one exercise that you can do to help troubleshoot your knee pain. Knee pain is something you guys send me a lot of messages about, and I really wanna give you all the tools that I can to help figure out what's going on on your own. So by either using a step that you can find in a gym, maybe not currently because of the situation, but a step or even just stairs in your house can be a great tool to use to figure out what could be tight in your fascia that is causing your knee pain. So I'm gonna have Jason talk you through uh, just a couple things that could be going on with your step. Take it away, man. All right, so <laughs> stepping up and stepping down create the most common pain referrals in your knees. So it's a really easy way to diagnose um, depending on where the pain shows up what the knee issue is or the fascia issue is around the knee so that we can figure out how to get rid of the pain. Um, so stepping up, if you step up and you find that you're getting pain in the top of the knee or perhaps the inside of the knee, we're gonna be focusing or looking at the quad and the glute mainly, okay? It can be a couple of other things, but that's gonna cover most of the, the situation and, or most of the issues in that situation. Now, if you step down and you're getting knee pain, not on the up, but on the down, um, either in the top of the knee or the middle of the knee, it's gonna be similar. We're gonna be looking at the quad as well, but perhaps the calf um, and releasing those areas or uh, di uh, working with those areas, either through exercise or fascial release. Now, if you notice that there's no pain in the step up or the step down, but it's in the other leg that you plant, then most likely we're gonna be looking at the posterior chain, calf and hamstring, most likely in the down leg. Um, and so just by stepping up and stepping down, you can kind of figure out, depending on where the pain is, what the next step is gonna be or where you want to target your time. Okay, so just to give you even more of a breakdown for this, if you're stepping up with your top foot, you wanna mm -hmm. switch your foot up here. If you're feeling pain in the top of your knee on the way up, the top two things that you're gonna to wanna to foam roll would be quad, quad hip flexors, mm -hmm. maybe an IT band. Perhaps, okay. yeah, the lateral side there. Okay, so those are the top things to roll there. Um, if you're stepping all the way over and feeling on the way down, mm -hmm. we talked quad and calf, yeah? Yep, quad and calf. Okay, so the fascia release there is gonna be probably a little bit lower in the mid to low part of your quad, and then this outside lateral high part of your calf um, would be the top two things there. Absolutely. Um, okay. And then for the leg that's being stepped down, again, if you're feeling pain in your knee on the leg that is planting like down here, we're gonna go also the calf, right? So the posterior chain, um, that high lateral calf, and probably low in the middle of your hamstring. So if you're starting with fascia release, this is a great way to create space and blood flow back to the knee and help bring your pain down. Um, if you want to keep your knee pain-free, you might also need to add some strength training. And we will go over some strength training things, our top three that we always recommend for knee pain next week. If you want links to all of the foam rolling techniques that we just mentioned, they are all listed below this video. And we will see you next week, right? Right. Yeah. Okay.